Hello. Welcome back to Caves of Good. Um, so, uh, there's a bit of a problem here in, um, Eat Freehold. I, I started a war by accident. Didn't mean to. Um, I'm gonna leave. I really didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Loss. So what we're going to try and do in this episode is uh, I, I worked on my build, uh, basically went through all of our Tillies and all of our Beps and uh, bought as many bits as I could and bought as many parts as I could. We do have a Zeta Chrome. We have a couple of Zeta Chrome things, actually. Uh, I bought a Zeta Chrome Battle Axe. This is for the purposes of building the redacted spoiler warning thing, um, you know, at... The current end of the game uh i don't know if i'm gonna settle on it but i figured if it if it's there i may as well buy it and then i can always change my mind later uh it doesn't really affect too much by having it um i also got some zeta chrome pumps i got a bunch of seven and eight bits so i was able to uh modify flawless crystal with um refractive reinforced and willowy uh i'm i'm being pretty liberal with our use of bits because I want to, you know, just like make our build as good as I can right now. Couldn't get flawless cor uh, crystal coronet. Somehow it just didn't appear, which is wild to me. So we're still using this electric snail shell. Um, was able to um, pick up. We got uh, Zeta Chrome pumps, which I put refractive willowy on. Yeah, I put willowy on a bunch of stuff because trying to make you know keep our weight down as much as possible um especially if we're going to a historic site there's a very good chance that we will end up um picking up a lot of books so yeah that's um why is it can we oh disassemble i don't know why i was blinding that so badly uh just disassembling a few things and yeah i mean besides that we have a bunch of stuff uh, we need to deal with and um i eat freehold is kind of a mess right now i was able to pick up a defoliant grenade mark ii um data disc so we can go and hand in that Betel quest we could do that this episode uh let's go do the historic site though real quick and uh yeah we'll uh we'll see what it has to offer if anything I, I don't expect it to have anything that we are willing to trade with what was that oh we have saps i have traded back to our um our chain laser i it's just really good and i've modified it a couple times it now has jacked masterworked and scope on it i thought about giving a beam splitter beam splitter does um reduce its penetration by one so that's the only reason i didn't make that trade I, I figured that scoped would be better in some ways but it was really a toss-up we have a legendary idol here um we are on neutral terms with them already so i can actually make this trade now i'm a little bit worried about these saps though god damn it why did you have to explode oh this is a nightmare really want to just like share a dram of oil with that chrome idol can you get out of here please um we've got our tail so let's go ahead and sting this guy all right hey bud um what's your rep real quick Hated by the villagers of Sharkamur. Uh, that sucks, but I'd much rather be friends with robots. Robots increased to 280. We're getting there. I guess Sharkamur already didn't like us. That's fine. Uh, have some reputation so we can gain our Naftali rep. And that's, uh, that's a big deal. We're one step closer to being friends with robots. We really want to be friends with robots for a couple of reasons. I'm kind of worried that I might accidentally hit our newly friended uh, Chrome Idol with our chain laser, even though it has uh, scoped on it. 
So this is a little bit bad. It's fine. I really like the chain laser. It really ends up being like one of my favorite ranged weapons in the game. I I might switch to the light rail at some point because I think that that would be kind of nice. It's very accurate, but like, I don't know if it's going to beat the chain laser. The chain laser is just so good. Like the pen is good enough. What's the pen at? Uh, nine. Could the pen be better? Sure. I mean, apparently the pen can be as high as 16. But like, you know, it hits. It does really nice damage. Um, it, when we, like, we can get it jacked, so I can use it basically forever. Um, I, I, I don't know, like, there's better weapons, but I don't think I like them as much as this thing. I just wish I had a better chain laser. Like, is there a better chain laser? Weird, what is this? Advanced toolkit is unpowered. No, I, I would like to power my toolkit. Advanced toolkit. Replace cell with a... Um, let's go ahead and put a high capacity radio powered solar cell in that. I don't think it eats up too much power. Um, artifacts. What? So what is this? Electro bow. That's our first electro bow? Wild. Treat those as scrap. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna disassemble flamethrowers. I like them a lot, but you know, they are definitely past their due date in terms of uh, relevancy. Picking up books, more books for the pile, more put books for the horde. Look at all these books. Yeah, Eat Freehold is kind of a mess. I'm really, I'm actually quite upset about what's going on over there. I don't know what to do about that. I tried like letting some pa uh, time pass, but I think that there's just like, you know, too much going on. Like there's, there's this just like weird random plants that are uh, attacking people and a couple people now just hate each other and I, I don't know what to do about that. Fortunately, it doesn't like affect my merchant situation too much. But, you know, that doesn't mean like Eat Freehold is almost a crater, it's like a smoking crater at this point. Ah, you know, what can, what, what can I do about that? I could regenerate it. It's it is a genuine cheat, but like, I don't think that because of, I accidentally because I, I mean I know it's funny. Um, it's it's funny. Don't get me wrong. It is funny, but I don't think that fish hating me should result in eat freehold <laughs> being completely destroyed. Okay. I don't think that that is a... Wow, look at this room. What a bizarre ruin. I don't think that that's a... I don't think I'm okay with that. So I might just like regenerate that layer. The nice thing again is I can do that without resetting all of the work I've gone to on the bottom floor. Um, but I, yeah, I really don't want Eat Freehold to be a smoking crater because of one silly mistake. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. How do you feel about it? Do you, do you think I should reset Eat Freehold? Or do you think I should live with the consequences of my, uh, fish hating ways? What a strange thing. It's a real Caves of Cud, cud moment, honestly. Um, chain laser turret. Ooh. Chain laser is doing real work here. Love, love that for us. It rarely misses. Like, I know that's a, you know, turn of phrase now, but it really doesn't miss. <laughs> and it's just very good. It does so much damage. Is it going to be good enough for Tomb of the Eaters, though? Okay, there's our first legendary item. Ooh, it's a long blade. 
plus two willpower. Um, it's interesting. I guess I like that. Is it worth holding for plus two willpower? I don't know if it is. Scoped grenade launcher. Now we're talking. Heck yeah, bud. Um. Okay. We're oof. Oh, I don't. I don't like it. Nice. At least uh, I have a method for saps now. Like they only do damage to you if you melee them right next to you. So you really have no excuse to take damage from saps. I just took damage from saps almost immediately. I swear to God, I didn't do that on purpose. I swear. Swear on me, Tims. That is not... I did not intend for that to be so comical. Um, we got some more books. We got some nice books. Oh, yeah, I also got a data disk for programmable recoilers. So that's nice. Uh, I think I'll just set it for right next to the, uh, the book chest so that I can, like, recoil and immediately dump our books back. Uh, let's not fight a sap at melee. Every once in a while, I remember I have, um, clairvoyance and, uh, you know, go ahead and reveal the map for free. Free fix it. Free spray foam. Heck yeah, bud. Oh, ow. You've been poisoned. What the, what did it, what did they throw at me? Airfoil poison tip spear, okay. I am poisoned. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh god. Yeah, they drained my point defense drone. I think it should be good now. It, it doesn't take very long for it to charge back up. Nope, never mind. Well, we'll just let it be a thing for a moment. Give it a break. You know, give it a give it a good rest. Oh god. Wired guise of Ker Kerkappa. Grants you electrical generation at level 3. Okay, bud. Uh, someone really liked electrical generation. Oh, that was a that was a legendary. Okay, Lin Hinder and Bela are cool with us. Fungi are better with us. That's actually kind of worth it. The problem is, is that I'm already wearing a headpiece, and it's not going to beat Kessel Face, and it already it also can't beat um, Temporal Fugue. So like, we can wear it for a little while, but like, as soon as I beat Tomb of the Eaters, it's it's it, you know it's going bye bye. But yeah, we now have electrical generation eight, level eight. We could actually have it at level nine if we really wanted to. Um, I don't think I sold the logical thingy. Where is it? Uh, it's going to be like a floating nearby miscellaneous. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I could it could have electrical generation at nine with only historic items that is hilarious that is like unprecedented i i don't think i've ever seen anything like that before um i love that kind of would prefer if we could find some items that improve our temporal fugue but like we don't need that because temporal fugue is an ego based uh, mutation and so therefore we can improve it just by increasing our ego which you know I am trying to do but it's slow well that was a nice little historic site pretty chill got a cool item um you know what else can you ask for really well I'll tell you what I'm asking for is uh I would like a 
legendary Icker. There's a legendary giant beetle. Check out some ruins. Red Swan. Red Sawan. Oh, vast animus, huh? Uh, there they are. Can we get some, uh, can we get some free ego, please? Nope. It's been a while since we got some free ego. Uh, what are you exactly? Protector of the stilt. Interesting. What are you doing out here exactly? Is there a per legendary pariah out here? Generally, that is like a sign of legendary, some kind of legendary pariah. I don't know what the heck a protector of the stilt is doing out here. I mean, there are hostiles nearby. I, I truly disagree. Okay, let's try. Let's check out a legendary beetle. See what the see what they got going on. This is a, probably going to be a pretty annoying one because there's going to be a lot of things and they all. They don't give me any XP. So, you know. Goat folk, I guess, still give. Oh, we got a legendary goat folk. Disliked by trolls, disliked by apes, admired by newly sentient beings. This is actually a goat folk worth making friends with if I can uh, manage it. Let's go and um, eat a meal and. Uh, See if I can't beguile it and uh, share a dram. Got some really bad stuff happening. None of it is like really life threatening. It's just like bad, you know? Um, we. Killed one of those a gold somethings something something. I want to go and uh, make friends with that legendary. Is that is this the same one? E yes. Dislike by trolls kind of sucks, but like you know, got to spend money to make money or something. I don't know. Okay, D eat beguile. Um. Chat, your thirst is mine. Go folk rep is increased slightly. Trolls are not impressed with me. Go folk are almost it, kind of cool with me. And then I'm gonna have to uh, direct you to stay there. If you die now, it's not my problem, nor is it my fault. We're at a legendary beetle, and I haven't even seen the legendary beetle yet. Okay, there's our staircase down. Show me to your leader, by which I mean I'm going to incinerate you unbiasedly uh, and go and uh, judge for myself whether or not your leader is worthy of existence. Depends who their friends are. We've reached that point of critical mass. We have, we've almost uh, ascended in terms of our run. Could it be better? For sure. There's always uh, ways it could be better. But for now, I'm really happy with like our build. It's, it's delightful levels of like broken and overpowered. Oh, we've got a gold flies. Not a huge fan of a gold flies. We got a lot of refractive, by the way, now. So like light based attacks uh, have a pretty good chance of getting bounced back. There's quite a bit of acid in that zone. I mean, our melee is pretty good, too. I, I know I use ranged a lot. 
but like our melee is also kind of insane. Wow, they're blocking us a lot, huh? Not anymore. This layer is deep. This is a deep one. Oh shoot, that's our legendary beetle. Loved by insects, hated by equins. I do like our I do like um insect rep. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh Equin. What is our Equin rep at? It's pretty good. I think we could take a hit. Oh, we still have um Do we still have that? Recipe going on? Yeah, I think we do. Okay, so Food freeze-dried horse shroom eat There we go Chat your your thirst is mine insect rep is slightly improved And say uh, equins don't are, are less impressed I'd like to be on good terms with insects. It'd be kind of nice direct to stay there and um is that our friendly i did tell him to stay there right okay we're good we're leaving that's that's good i don't i don't need to you know i'm not looking a hundred percent this uh this this is layer oh cool they died. So I can't ever accidentally uh, kill them myself. Helpful, honestly. Uh, legendary bloated leech. I mean, I'm just doing a bunch of layers. Why not? We did the historic site. Oh, God. Mad poles. Get out of the river. Cool. We did the historic site. It was cool. It was good. Uh, we got some fun stuff. Bloated leech. I yeah, I don't know what we could possibly gain from this. I think what is what is a leech? A worm? Oh god. Twinning lampreys, huh? Hopefully they stay upstairs. What are these? Gershworms. Yeah, I think we're in worm territory. These things are not worth any uh, XP, but they still hurt. They kind of suck. Ow! Oh, that hurt a lot. Good lord. 33 damage from poison. Okay, um, I'm not going to take any chances here. Let's take a tonic salve. I mean, heck, let's take another one. We've got 60 of them. I didn't expect that to hurt us so much. Okay, uh, I really need this gas to just let's just like stand over here and wait like seven 700 is like my go-to that's basically half a day I think it's gone. Yeah, we're good That was the closest to dying uh, we've been for a while If I've been just a little bit quicker to push a button I we could have died We've got mollusks down here. I don't know if that is representative. Oh god, twinning lampreys. I thought those were fish. Okay, I think we're close to our bloated leech. This is not it, right? Yeah. yeah twinning lampreys immediately suck. 
Oh, that's our legendary, by the way. Admired by oozes. Hated by winged mammals. I mean, that kind of sucks. But I'm going to make friends with him. Yeah, ooze rep doesn't matter as much because we have enough of it, but like... Oh, we're hungry? Oh, no. I don't have the recipe anymore. I'm going to have to go upstairs and go and cook a meal. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. Whenever you eat a mushroom, you beguile. That's the one. Okay, we're back. Hey, I'm back. Eat a freeze-dried horseshoe. We're good. Hey, bud. Just, um, have you considered... Oh, they're in... They're, they're fighting a... <sighs> okay, hold on. Yeah. We just... We just separate these two for a moment. Have you considered uh, being friends with me? I'm pretty cool. Winged mammals don't like me as much. Have some uh, more some secrets. Worms are cool with us. I could uh, start gaining some worm lore, some worm secrets, but I think I'm okay. Dirk to stay there. Goodbye. I'm I'm leaving now. As it is, I'm gonna have to do battle with these twinning lampreys. Goodbye. <laughs> Movement speed is 220. Uh, you can't really compete with that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, okay, what do we got over here? We got a goat folk village. Legendary shoemaker. Have I been there? I think I have, but let's go there anyway. We noticed some ruins. Let's go check out the ruins. Alapar. Love me an Alapar. I'm pretty sure I have been here. Uh, no, actually, I haven't. This couldn't... Is this... Is this a quest? What quest is this? Uh... What? Why did I gain 1500 experience to by getting here? It's a weird one. Well, we'll go make friends with them. And, uh... Wow, free herbary, huh? And a black puma haunch. I've never understood why that's a thing. 70, 80. We, we can carry it. Disassemble, disassemble. What what was that? That's our merchant. That's our legendary shoemaker. What's their reputation? Hated by winged mammals. Wow, we're really not making friends with winged mammals right now. Uh, I'm still going to do it because I prefer to have more reputation with, um, with the Merchant's Guild. It's just money in the bank, basically. Um, tell me a secret. The location of a Dromad Caravan. I don't care about that. Tell me about another legendary merchant. Well, that was unhelpful. What do you got? Oh, I love his little insignia. His little insignia is like a smiley face. That's so much fun. That's so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I'm actually going to buy this Uber Nostrum because I used a couple recently. Um, I'll sell his own black puma haunch back at him. Uh, I don't know what that is good for, but it is 20 pounds, so I'm not going to bother with it. And I'm not also not going to bother trying to figure out um, the weird artifacts that he has on him because they're shoes, you know? No, they're not Zeta Chrome. There's, they're not going to be Zeta Chrome pumps. Also, that doesn't matter because I already have Zeta Chrome pumps and I can't have more of them. We found... Uh, Travel to the workshop. I guess you gain repu uh, experience for traveling to random legendary merchants. What was that? I was hoping it was a legendary chrome idol, but no, no such luck. You know what we still need to find? We still need to find light night goggles. Because I would like to um, make friends with the last troll in Bethesda Susa. something worth um, considering. 
Where is our hatter? There they are. You have some strange company, friend. What's your reputation? Hated by the Hindra Nabela. Well, we did gain some reputation with the Hindra Nabela, so I'll, I'll sacrifice a little bit for some merchant guild. You have some, have some gossip. Tell me some secrets. Stop telling me about Dromad Caravans. I need to know about other legendary salesmen. Would you gra gra gift me your weird gnoll worm skull? I kind of wish they also had advertisements for other merchants. I, I feel, I, I, I guess at that point, um, things would start to get a little bit broken. Cause then you could just chain, daisy chain visit, like is, you know, all the merchants. We have a legendary shrewd baboon. I feel like I've already visited that one, but we'll check it out anyway. We found some ruins. Um, this is uh, some big whatever ruins, honestly. I'm just gonna go to the six days tilt. Don't know what we want here. I still have, I, I'm not level 30 yet. Um, I guess we could uh, get a st head start on the, per, uh, the the slinth. What's our pariah rep at? I'm pretty sure it's good enough, right? Yeah, it's more than good enough. I encountered a people, the slinth seeking a new home. Can't help but wonder why you're telling me this in particular. I am not a mayor, nor even a citizen. I am a drifter, a pariah, and my people are those who have no home anywhere else. And here I wonder a bit less. You're asking me to whisper into the winds on behalf of the slinth, aren't you? I am. What a strange fate to pass from new sentience to outcast with no steps in between. <laughs> Regardless, if it is their will and you vouch for them, that is enough for me. Tell the slint that they should, uh, that should they choose to wander, the wind will blow at their backs. You have my thanks. They're now a sanctuary option. Cool. Uh, and I sacrificed, I think, 800 reputation with them. No. I guess you don't sacrifice any reputation? Do you just have to, like, meet a certain criteria? Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and make ourselves a programmable recoiler. And, um, we're also going to, I guess we're going to, we have to set that, right? It, we can't, we don't just make it. You have to set it. Imprint right here, right here. Uh, does not have enough charge. Okay. Uh, install a cell, high capacity, radio powered solar cell, um, imprint. Does not have enough charge. I guess it needs some big, big juice. Um, can we put a combustion cell in there? No, we can't. Um, hmm. All right, I'll put the nuclear cell in there, imprint it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't need that, that kind of energy to send you there though right six day still at recoiler uh replace that with the radio powered cell and then we'll test it later um but for now let's go ahead and mod make it slender and that's good enough all right f2 we do have some books not a lot well, maybe more than I thought, actually. We have two heirlooms of cud. Okay, what are we looking at for this chest? 258. That's not bad. That is not bad. Um, our, we're, We could definitely use a bit. We, we could sell some stuff. I, I feel like I have too much stuff right now. Let's go check out our Icker salesman. If they have a Neutron Flux, we will buy it. They have a cloning draught. I'm not gonna buy that. We're good. We're good for cloning draughts. Um, uh, 
Uh, do, do, do. We are gonna go check out our. There, there's very little left that I would care about for in terms of schematics. T TBH. Co-processor though, that's one of them, and flexi weaved is actually one of them as well. Two of them at one um, merchant. That's kind of insane. And they're not even that expensive. Let's just sell a couple of uh, chem cells for that. Nice. Let's learn those. Those are pretty good. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Flexi weaved is actually quite nice. Check out our last skim, skim drafter. Arcwinder, uh, nuclear cell. I guess I don't know how to make the nuclear cell yet, so I could... Random point recoiler is kind of tempting. But I may as well jump in some clams if I'm gonna buy something like that. Um, I don't think there's really much point in knowing how to make nuclear cells because it's the power that's valuable, not the actual cell. Um, and like, I, I, I have a nuclear cell, I could learn how to make it for free. I, yes, I did just consider buying the data disk for nuclear cell because I'm too lazy to learn psychometry and then just like learn how to make the thing for free. I, I know sometimes my my laziness is like legendary, um, but uh, yeah, that's that's how it is sometimes. Okay, let's go back to uh, Eid and maybe their goods. Maybe they've chilled out a bit. Probably not. Um, actually, this seems okay. They, yeah, I mean, we've got a couple of extra tumbling pods, but for the most part, this is this is a huge improvement. Um, I am gonna do this mostly off screen, but we can have a look at a couple of these. Still looking for um. The main thing I'm looking for, honestly, is... Well, we're going to buy that nuclear cell. I'm looking for a flawless crystal coronet. That's, like, kind of it. Uh, I don't know if there's much else that I care about. Uh, Zetachrome long blade would be nice. That is, like, the the one thing on my, like, wish list. Flawless crystal shard mail. I mean, it's not much is going on there. I'm going to really zoot through these because I don't want to uh, bother. Like, I don't I don't want this is probably like I know buying stuff is just like the least interesting thing in this game. Um, so I'm going to do my derndest to zoot. I'm going to zoot. Why are we carrying a poison tip spear? Okay, yeah, we'll buy a rough topaz. Why not? Um, I love my little arrangement of Tilly's. Excuse me. I pressed it three times there. Taco Suprema. There's our first Taco Suprema. Do we want it? Oh, I'll definitely buy a metamorphic core. I will buy that basically whenever the, you know, opportunity presents itself. But uh, yeah, we're still not seeing... Still not seeing a flawless crystal coronet. Still not seeing seeing a Zetachrome uh, long blade. Those are oh, we got our first antimatter cell. I'll buy that again. It's the power I care about, not so much the cell. Um, I like the cell for sure, but like powering it is always a pain in the butt. Um, we could just sell this crystal dagger, I suppose. Carry a little bit of extra water. Weird, we got a weird artifact. We got a, some kind of weird artifact here. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out what that is. Do we not? Oh, do I not have any more bananas? That's unacceptable. We might as well check out what uh, Sh Six Shoe has. Oh, look at that. It's nothing. Well, you know. 
Hello, banana rancher. Can you please sell me all of your bananas? Appreciate you, bud. Thank you. All right, recoiler back to Eid Freehold. I love this quick button for um, for recoilers. It's really quite nice. Saves a heck of a lot of time, you know? I almost probably ca caused some more chaos there. I'm really glad that this place is chilled out a bit. Oh, that's right. Uh, cook from recipe. Uh, first of all, preserve our food. Cook from recipe. Um, drink fresh water. Control F. Y. Uh, H. K. Uh, nope. Control F. Y. H. K. Control F. Y. H. K. Ah, there we go. Cycle flesh gun, huh? Cycle flesh gun. Sure. I mean, uh, I don't plan on buying that. We got a crystal cornet. Where is your flawless crystal cornet, my dude? Why are you making that so difficult for us? What about a linear cannon? Never mind a blast cannon. What about a linear cannon? This is also a heavy weapon, and its pen is, uh, it meets whatever the AV is. Maybe that would be viable. I do want to try some new weapons. I, I, I like, I, and I can't help but feel like I'm shortchanging myself a little bit with, by sticking with the, um, the chain laser. I have to think, I have to imagine there's other things out there you know there's a whole new world of uh cool weaponry i just gotta check it out pony up 100 drams sure um still nothing i guess i i was gonna like do this off screen but oh there we go there's our flawless crystal cornet cool there it is uh there's a nuclear cell i don't really care about that Um, we only have the one... I sold, like, all of our cy cybernetics. Most of our trade goods are actually gone. I don't think I really mentioned that. In fact, I I'm carrying all of them. So, you know. That's probably worth mentioning. Let's just go ahead and sell one of these advanced toolkits. And, um... A couple silver nuggets will do it. We're good. Okay, uh, making some progress here. Do still no... Oh, there's a metamorphic core. Still no, uh, Eigen... Uh, Eigen Rifle. I looked at Eigen Rifle and said Eigen Rifle. Still no Zetachrome long sword, but, like, we're making progress where it counts. I think I should and will do the rest of this off-screen. Um, so, you know... If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.